fifth grade Excel this is lesson two and we're gonna be looking looking at uh, multiplication let's move this here uh, learning the multiplication facts with products up through 30 that means answers products up through 30 and products with 5 up to 45 and uh, also 10 up to 90 11 up to 99 12 up to 88 as factors Multiplying a one-digit number by a three-digit number, solving multi-step word problems using addition and subtraction. Multiplication, of course, as you know, is a faster way uh, of adding. So if you are adding the numbers 134 together three times to 104, uh, 402, 134 times three is the same thing as that. Three 134s, which also comes out to be 402. Write the addition problem for each multiplication problem. 346 times 4, they did the multiplication right here, and 346 written 4 times added together is the same idea as multiplication because multiplication is repeated addition. All right, let's try this next one together. 294 times 3, 4 times 3 is, go ahead and write this on your paper. 12, carry the 1. 9 times 3. That would be 27 plus 1 is 28. Carry the 2. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. And we write that down there. And then we're going to write the number 294 over here three times. I like to start at the bottom. That way I know how much space I need. 294, 294, 294. 4, 4, 4. That makes 12. Carry the 1. 27 plus 1, 28. 2, 4, 6, 8. 882. Pause the video, do number three, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, seven times two, that's 14, carry the one. Zero times two is zero, plus one is one. Four times two is eight. And then we write the number 407 over here twice. We get 14, carry the one, four, eight, and it also comes out to be 814. All right, go ahead and do problems numbers four, five, and six. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. Actually, four is done for you. So you can see that when they added all these together, they get 1458. That's the same thing as multiplying it by six. We're just going the other direction on this. 607 plus 607 plus 607. That's 21. Carry the two. Two comes down to here. Six, 12, 18. And then we're going to do 607 times 3, which is the same idea. 21, carry the 2. That's 0 times 3 is 0 plus the 2. 6 times 3 is 18. And this last one here, we have 28, carry the 2. And that's 12 plus 2 is 14, carry the 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. And then you should be doing 237. Oops, I already got the time symbol there times 4, 7 times 4 is 28, carry the 2, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. You can see that all these come out the same. All right, now how about a couple of word problems? Jim threw 26 sticks to his dog on Monday and 13 on Tuesday. 12 of the sticks got lost in the bushes, so the dog couldn't bring them back. How many sticks did his dog bring back? Well, first of all, we have to know how many he threw. He threw 26 on Monday and 13 on Tuesday. So we're going to put 26 plus 13. Go ahead and write that on your paper. Do this with me. That means he threw 39. But it tells us that 12 of them got lost. And that means that 12 went away from this number. So we're going to subtract 12. 39 minus 12 comes out to be 27. And anytime we do word problems, we always have to show our work. And even if it's 1 plus 1, you still show 1 plus 1 is 2. I want to see how you came up with the answer, the process that you went through. The other rule with word problems is we always have to have a label. 27 what's? What are we talking about here? And in this situation, uh, we can see that the, what he's throwing is sticks. The question says how many sticks? So the answer is 27, oops, sticks, 27 sticks. All right, you're going to do number eight. Pause the video. Turn it back on when you're ready to see the answer. Marcia did seven pull-ups on Friday, eight on Saturday, and three on Sunday. Vicky did seven fewer pull-ups than Marcia or Marcia. 
how many pull-ups did Vicky do? So first of all, we have to figure out how many Marcia did, and that's seven, eight, and three. So you should have written this problem out. You can write it sideways too. It doesn't have to be up and down. That should come out to be 18, and then it says Vicky did seven fewer. That's a subtraction problem. We get 11, and you should write 11 pull-ups. Notice it says how many pull-ups, so my answer is 11 pull-ups. Alrighty, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.